Welcome everyone to Hearts of Minecraft Overworld and Flames. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. And right now we're beginning a new video or campaign as the Undead Lands. And as you can already see, we are under attack from the evil, evil Fallen Kingdom. But the terrifying rumors, TT, oh, we shall begin with TT. And wow, this is not looking good for us, but terrible rumors. Let us hope rumors are really rumors. But we should begin with our future, should we? Uh, the mods we're using obviously are. Hearts of Minecraft, Overworld and Flames, stage into two modern player of the peace conferences, but we will see what happens. Now, we've got quite a bit of an army. We have no field marshal, which kind of, you know, sucks, but we are led by Zombro and Zombrov. And additionally, we have uh, a couple couple of divisions here. Uh, even though we're not doing super great, we've lost a thousand, we've killed off not nearly as much, but they themselves do not have a ton of manpower, so hopefully, if we can hold our, the line as much as possible, defend, defend, defend to the best of our abilities, we can wear them up on our path. The players are malicious about a strong entity to bind with, or the time, our time for resistance is now. So, should we open the borders, or should we close the borders, increase, increase player, player trade to get more stability, and invite players to our village, build weaponsmiths, and construct town wells, or walls, or close our borders, we lose stability, oops, my bad, uh, self-sufficiency plan, which is not bad either, build farms, and build roads. Well, I want to maybe increase player trade, because we could use more stability. IP, and then increase players to their village. IP, very cool. And hopefully we can hold, 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 and not die, 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 die. That would be very, very bad. As we're recruiting soldiers, or moving soldiers from our west, who we are apparently war with the Kashmir, which is not good. Well, we should just be able to take them out like that, hopefully. Uh, this is pretty bad for our boards. If we can do that, that'd be really, really good. Uh, losses are 14,000 versus 19,000, which is, eh, it could be worse. It could be a lot, lot worse. Kashmir, thank you, thank you very much, and hopefully we can promote a field field marshal very very soon. We need a, about twenty one more CP, which is not bad, and Kashmir is ours. And just head on down there, keep taking more towels until they are dead. I don't, who are we at war with? Oh, we're at war with a lot of people. Okay, well that's okay then. All right, do they have any conscription laws? Nope, they're out of manpower, so any damage they do, well they can't restore themselves. Which is pretty bad for them, but that's okay with us. Keep going, keep going, and then keep go, 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 go. Back up to Kashmir. Very, very nice. Now, even though we can't exactly win a whole lot right now, that is okay. It happens from time to time. Uh, if you want to hold for now, these divisions are all the same. They're 18 combo width, which isn't bad with support artillery. Not too bad, could be better, but not too bad. And we have some more military factories, yes please. Oh, oh yes we did. We still need to make more stuff. Can we import anything? No we cannot, which is... Oh, actually yes we can. So the player union? Yes, we need definitely more steel or stone. Alright, these guys really didn't want to be good about this. Alright, so we'll do that then maybe. Yes, very nice, very nice. And I like that we begin immediately in a new war. I like that idea. We love the conflict. You are not going to beat us up here. The player visit. We must accept. We get a player trade agreement, more daily political power, even more stability. In which we shall build weaponsmiths. BW. We'll love it. Can we raise uh, this? Yes, we can. A little economic stuff. That's fine with us, even though there's nothing else we can really do with our stuff. Any decisions? No, we do not. That is kind of sucky, but that's okay. Alright, you guys can't win. That sucks. Hold, hold, hold. And they're still attacking us. What a bunch of crazies. And stockpile-wise, they should be completely out. Kind of like us, which is a very, very good thing. So, we should probably start making some encirclements here and have a good time with them. Help them out. And help them out. Maybe come up through here and circle these guys. That'd be quite bueno, as some might say. But, how do we get a field marshal? Zombra? Oh. We just need a little bit more CP. Just a wee bit more. There we go. Cool. Zombra. And this person will be an offensive. Or, zombie will be an offensive person. Or, whatever, whatever it is. Uh, very nice. Improved infantry equipment one's very good. How about we grab some support weapons two? We have support weapons one. How about we grab some iron sword kits? Very good. All right. Let's see if we can attack here next. Attacking over the rivers is a very bad idea, but that's okay. Has to happen from time to time. Good. If we can circle at least one division for now, that'd be quite bueno. There we 
There you go. You should be able to get that done. And boom. There you go. Just in case. Very good. A first division has perished to our mighty armies. Our zo mighty zombie undead lands. Oh, there's natural spirits. Sheep mentality to get less defense but more attack. As well as player trade agreements. Not bad. Build weapons smiths. We shall construct town walls. CT. No effect. Oh boy. But military factories are very, 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 very nice. Don't worry about attacking for now. Hold your booties. Hold your zombie, zombie booty, your Enos. And head on in if you can. Very good. Uh, armored horse armor stuff. Well, we can go ahead and grab some of this stuff then, because research is not quite where we would like it to be. We'll put it like that. And there you are. Very good. Kill them off. Very good. Very good. Ah, uh, generals. We won't even mole attack whenever we can get to that. Ah, uh, very nice. How many men have we lost? 74,000 zombies, 75. End of an empire. Oh boy, the Union sent superior. As well versus 128,000 losses. Not bad, because they started off with very, very little manpower. Which is a very good thing for us. Oh, they really want to beat us up, don't they? How unfortunate for them. They're going to die then. Zombrov. Get some more attack, my friends. Good, good, good. Well, they attack us, then we'll win here. And then we're going to push down here. And then circle some more. That'll be bueno. Good, good, jolly, jolly good. Head on over here, guys, if you can. That'd be really quite, quite good. And now I believe that this enemy can't really do too much against us. Are they beating us up? How? Hold, 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 hold. Push in. Ah, uh, very good. Kill them off. And we are using the Superior Firepower Doctrine here. So if you were wondering what Doctrine we're using. Superior Firepower. And now we're out of a focus tree. And it's August 9th. Or August 12th. Year 9. Uh, I'm going to have you guys go over here, actually. Help them out. We should be able to delete at least one division. Oh, they're still attacking and killing themselves off. Very nice. And let's go right on in. Well, if we can. There you go. That's better. Hold, hold, hold. Support Weapons 2 is very nice. Let's grab some Support Weapons 3. Very, very good. Uh, I'd love to attack here, but they are very weak. And we're not that strong either, but that's okay. Um, I would like to attack here. You guys come down here. We're going to go this way. Yeah, we could use a few more divisions, probably. Oh, and also, conscription level. We are in civilian oversight. And what would be best if we did this, duplicate, and then we'll make these garrisons. Very cool. Uh, anything that helps suppression? Not really. Take that off. That'd be good. And that's still garrisons. Good. Uh, motorized. Let's get some cavalry going because they don't need much. Just some guns. Not even horses. They don't even need horses for cavalry divisions. Go figure. There you go. Save us a little bit of artillery. Nice. Very good. Very, very good. Now them out. Another one division will shall be destroyed. But I have a couple of uh, things to go over. Since I've already played this mod once, I played as a Piglin Horde, and it was a very, very fun campaign. Um, but, uh, let's see. Someone asked, can we go to the Nether in this mod? Well, I don't know if we can actually go to the Nether. There are Nether portals, but I don't know if we can actually go to the Nether, but we'll see what happens. I forget there was comments about this, but I forget about what this what this was. Did you know this is Vojvodina? And that this is Emlan Mazurin? I did not. Uh, help them out so we can stick these guys with needles. And by needles, I mean fists of the zombie hold. Good, because we're going to come down here to there. Doesn't matter if we get encircled or not. Good, good. Iron sword kits would be nice. But we're not going to make any because we need to make sure we have more than enough infantry equipment as of already. Uh-oh. Oh, southern player empire. If only you could give me the goods. Abandoned base. So be it. Good, good, good. Uh, let these guys get more organized, get some planning going, and I'm going to have you guys go here. Have you guys go right here. Help out, help out. Zombrov, Zombro. An infantry attack, yes, please. Oh, come on, come on. You guys got this. It's only one more division, but still. And? Very nice. Head, head on in, guys. So we've killed off about 200,000 of them, while we've taken 84,000 casualties ourselves. Not bad. And next up, we shall go here and then attack here. 
Very nice. You have to micro the line. I've not played yet. At the time of this recording, the Fallen Empire, but uh, it appears interesting. Maybe we will. If there's enough support for me to play as a Fallen Empire, please let me know because I believe they have a unique focus tree. Yes, mobilize every last player. Yes, 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 they do. So, uh, someone recommends out uh, we do some Minecraft sometime. Like I'll play on the channel. I did ask, like, okay, so uh, the video you can see in the top left here. That's the video, the first video I did in uh, in this mob. So I asked. You know, if I got 250 likes, which I did, if, and uh, if we got that many amount of likes, I would play Minecraft, and we will. I will be playing Minecraft sometime, not sure when, but I promise I will do it. So, yeah. But someone did recommend we wait for like a game update or something, like a cave update. So, yeah. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. Now the division goes bye bye. Goodbye. Oh, player nation. Oh, no, no, it's Fallen Empire. Fallen Empire. How sad you are. Uh, I want to go, go, kind of go this way, so let's do this here. Even more damage, very good. Add one straight into there, that would be good. Go in immediately. Oh, the second of the war. Oh, how unfortunate for the South Player Union. That does not sound very good for them. Oh, well, actually, I've, I tried doing that one off screen, and that's actually extremely difficult to play as. At the time of this recording, it's probably really just unbalanced, so. And the devs know. The devs were actually watching. The, the one campaign when I was playing as the Piglin Horde. Very cool. Ah, oh, beautiful. And I was just going to do that too. Why not? Oh, the water tiles. The plaza's going to be so bad when we get over there. Come on, you got this. It's a, they're very weak. Ah, very good, very good. Please not get encircled and begin attacking. Very good. Does he have any upgrades yet? Yes, offensive doctrine. That'd be very good. I want both of you guys to go straight to there. That'd be quite nice. Kind of nice. More land out attack would be also very, very bueno. You guys head on. Yeah, get to, get to that. That'd be good. Come on, come on. I want to circle two divisions this time. Two divisions. Beautiful, my friends. Gloriously beautiful. Now they have up to 32 divisions. We have more divisions than them, which is a very, very bueno thing. All right, let's push over the river. River pushing is pretty bad sometimes. Beautiful. Level 4 attack. He's becoming a trickster. It's very nice. Or actually, we should do this one right here. That'd be good. Actually, they're running out of divisions, which is not bad for us. Oh. Yes, please. Let's keep moving. That's 1v1s. Not bad for now, as long as we're doing what we're doing. Let's go in. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. Both sides cannot give me what we need. How sad. Wow, they actually have nothing there. I'll trade for that much because we still need it. Um, we have destroyed quite a few divisions. They have up to 30 now. Which means Guerrero would be nice to get. Let's grab some infantry equipment. Diamond sword kits. How many are we out? 1600, which is not bad at all. Good. I wonder, can I actually just cut off the capital and are they going to do anything about it? Maybe. If not... Well, then we'll just go in and kill them all. Because if you cut off the capital, they can't get too much supply. Let's go ahead and try it out. Look at all that green. That's beautiful. Moving on in. Oh, did we take the capital already? I think we did. Oh, that sucks. Bayushin land. To Bayushin land. More divisions. Thank you very much. Alright, so we've lost about probably about 100,000 versus probably going to be 500,000. Not bad. Oh, we didn't kill the free village yet. Oh, that sucks. But they're not a major power, so whatever. Bayushin land, thank you very much. Amur, thank you very much. Eretria, thank you very much. And Tasmania. I never knew Amur and Tasmania and Eretria were so close together. But you learn something new every day, don't you? Actually, some planes too we should really build up. Ah, we've done it, my friends. We've beaten the Fallen Kingdom. Delicious. Tasty. Yes, scrumptious. 
Awesome. And now, when these guys lose, they have nowhere to go. Um, you know what? I want to beat up the Ominous. I don't like the Ominous Legion here, so... And actually, we got to beat these guys up, too, so... And then, maybe we'll call it a video. It's not a very long video, and there's really not much here else, but... but I figured the Zombie Hold would be a little bit bit of a fun little... Not challenge, but a little experience for us to try out. Because I would like to see how this mod develops as time goes on, because... Well, who doesn't love Minecraft? Well, some people don't, but, you know, whatever. That's their problem. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll try to fight those guys down there to the south. They don't get cores on anything down there, so... Zombie Horde versus Piglins. Who will win? Even it's going to take a lot of time for us to get all the way over there. And we should be able to go to war within a second. 30 days. I really do want to see what we can do against those guys. Let's go and raise the conscription level. Uh, let's go to that one. It's not like PP really matters either here, so. And hopefully we can get more resources, too. We got a lot of wood. A lot of wood, a lot of stone. We're going to go to this free village next here, too. So that'd be good. And why not? Oh, boy. Oh, we can't go to limited exports? That sucks. Justify, please. Alright, that should be it, right? Should be it. Keep going, keep going, take everything they got. Leave them nothing. Ah, the ominous legion, my friends. Now, supply's gonna be very bad doing this, but that's okay. Do we not have manpower? What do we not have? Oh, we need more infantry coming. Oh, that's not good. It's okay, just go on in when you can. Support weapons 4 is very nice. Uh, we can grab some more land out of attack. That'd be very good as well. Now we can go for the war for Alaska. And then Sonora. Even though we won't need more manpower, but that's okay. Uh, Not much else here. No, not much, really. Goodness, we need way more stuff here. Come on, guys. Let's keep going, keep going. We're doing a great job. Good. Uh, how much more do we need? Guys, get up here. Come on. Oh, wrong group. Wrong group. There we go. The sisterhood is gone. And we are running out of manpower, which is not good. Free village, thank you. Oh. Oh, they're currently fighting those guys. Oh, boy. Well, the piglin hold here. They have a lot of manpower. Can we defend against these guys? I kind of don't think we can. They're very strong. They're very, very strong. They do have a lot of resistance, though, which is good to see. And we have no manpower, so... Yeah, that's not good. Diamond swords are very good. Very, very good. Gonna do that, but... Let's see, Garrison's. How do we duplicate this? Do we have any armor? Mobile. Uh, what do we have here. What can we make? Was it this one? Horses. Uh, armored horse 2. What if we decide to make some of that? Hmm. Armored horse horse too so just motorized infantry but it doesn't give you any armor we have no wait we have 18 mechanized so that's mechanized so the horses are actually mechanized that's interesting so i wonder this might go very poorly for us but if we change all of these to mechanized infantry 
would the enemies be able to pierce us? My feeling is yes. But we don't we don't really know. Oh, and free village. I think um just take all the space for this one. That's fine. Because these guys are very, very strong, and they just continue expanding all over the place, which is not very good. Now, if we went to war with them, what would happen? Actually, what's compliance like? Not very good. We need more horses. We need more compliance. I might just go ahead and release somebody then. Fallen Kingdom, no. What if we did that? We need that manpower back, maybe? Infantry anti-tank. Yeah, I think they'd just be able to steamroll steam run us over, but because I know they get an extra one hundred thousand uh, things here, so let's see what happens. So what if we do this? Ten days, that's not very much time. A million manpower. Really, really incredibly strong. Would we be able to beat them up? Well, let's see, we're out of tons of infantry equipment. Mechanized, so that's not very good. Well, we're doing relatively okay. Maybe not great in some areas here. Definitely not great in some areas. This is probably a really, really bad idea. If that's okay, we're going to release more territories then. Uh, release. It's fine. Get some of our manpower back, some of our guns back. You guys hold. Night vision's nice. Uh, better armored horses, I guess. Yes. Oh, they can give us goods, too. That'd be really, really beneficial. Now, I don't understand why we can't get up to here. If we're at war... More than 0% center progress, that's not good. Nope, they're starting to beat us up now. We've lost 50,000 to them, holy crap. Hold, 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 guys. Yeah, the Piglin Horde, very, very difficult to kill. Up to 80 divisions, over a million manpower probably. Oh boy, oh boy. Don't worry about that, guys, just kinda hang out. Don't worry about attacking, guys, no worries. Can we get any more uh, stone and stuff? Well, that's really bad, but we'll do it anyways, because we need it. Do we have any planes maybe we could build up, perhaps? We need more civ more military factories and civvies, too, but still. Of course, this isn't our core territory, so what do you expect? Yeah, the Piglin Horde. I played them once. And they're very fun. But my goodness, you cannot win against them, ever. Because they're just too strong. And if you want resistance to do more damage to them, well, you really can't, which sucks. Uh, anything else? Maybe get uh, Ambusher, maybe? Maybe? Uh, recovery rate, perhaps? That'd be probably pretty good. Oh, I don't know why I can't go down there yet. That sucks. Kind of hang out for now. Yep, we're slowly going to be losing. So, I think that's probably going to be it for the campaign, then. Since we can't really do too much here. I've got a few guys. There we go. Maybe some casts. Made up of 20 guys, maybe? There you go. And if you can duplicate that, that'd be great. Are they doing any damage here, maybe? No? Okay, I don't know if planes actually work here, but okay. Don't worry about attacking, guys. Do not worry about attacking. Just kind of hang out, hang out, hang out. Seriously, how are they not getting any more resistance in this? Oh, they lost a division, maybe. We were always out of manpower, which sucks. Um, There you go. All the extra manpower didn't really help us out, but whatever. Seriously, stop attacking. Stop attacking. But at least we're getting a lot of experience, I guess. It's not really a good thing, especially since we can't build enough uh, infantry equipment. Yeah, I, I do know for a fact that these guys do start off with... What the heck? Um, 
like a hundred thousand like infantry equipment, which is completely unbalanced and completely unfair if you actually want to play as anyone other than this. So yeah, I think we're gonna lose here. I have a really good feeling we're probably gonna lose here. But you know what? You don't always have to win every game, right? Right. Go and retreat, guys. It's totally okay. Don't attack! Why? Why you attack, son? Why you attack? A uh, grill fighter would actually be relatively good, so we can get more entrenchment for now. Well, we've lost three, a third of a million. They've killed more than us. Okay, so the Piglin Horde, they're a little overpowered. A little overpowered. More attack with their genocide. Yeah, they're, they're quite OP, man. Quite OP. Look at all that. Look at all the extra equipment they got. I don't think they should really deserve 100,000, but I think this is, might be where we end the campaign or end the video just because well, there's literally nothing you can do about this. The Piglin Horde is completely unbalanced. Oh, look at that. They're fallen villages here. I don't remember liberating you guys, but maybe that's what you became. Yeah, we got in circle, but I'm going to end it here just because I don't think you can win as these guys. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already, and I'll catch you tomorrow in a different video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.